Hey everybody, happy Monday. Um, there's been some question about COVID-19 or the coronavirus, you know how it got that name, right? It's a coronavirus that they found in 2019. Can it affect your brain? And one of the things that we've seen and we're beginning to hear more and more about it is the answer is absolutely yes, it can. And symptoms such as loss of smell, loss of taste are nervous system symptoms. And it's beginning to happen more and more. There was actually an article um, looking at patients in China and found almost 40% of people had neurological symptoms, such as dizziness, tiredness, confusion, and now um, loss of your sense of uh, smell or taste. So if that's an issue for you, you should get tested and for sure you should start isolating even if you don't feel sick but you can't smell anything because it's time um, to know that you may be vulnerable both to yourself and to other people. So Rudy Gobert, the Utah Jazz setter, who um, he's sort of the reason that the NBA shut it down, uh, he posted something today saying that for the last four days he had lost his sense of smell and taste. So now that we know that COVID-19 can affect you, in fact, one of my doctors from our New York clinic, um, who's actually from Spain, sent me images today, which I'll show you, of an MRI scan of someone who had encephalitis, uh, which is basically attacking your brain from the virus. And you see these white areas, uh, that's not normal and clearly not good for someone. So I wanna spend some time and talk to you. Um, and those of you who follow me know I have a new book, The End of Mental Illness, about how do you keep your brain healthy or rescue it if it's headed to the dark place. And in order to do that, you have to prevent or treat the 11 major risk factors that steal their mind. And we know what they are. And in the book, it's probably more than half of the book, I go over each of these 11 risk factors and I created this mnemonic uh, with my team at Amen Clinics um, called Bright Minds. And uh, the B in Bright Minds is for blood flow. Low blood flow is the number one brain imaging predictor of Alzheimer's disease. So without getting a scan, um, spec scans are what we do at Amen Clinics along with something called quantitative EEG. Um, without getting a scan, how do you know if you have low blood flow? Well, if you have hypertension, and it's a lot of people who end up getting really sick have high blood pressure. So you wanna make sure you're taking care of your blood pressure. If you have any form of heart disease, um, you wanna be really careful. So my dad, heart disease, my dad who has congestive heart disease and a heart arrhythmia, that can significantly impact blood flow. Um, if you have caffeine, nicotine, all of those constrict blood flow to the brain. If you're not exercising, I did meetings this morning for Amen Clinics and I did them while I was walking. I got 40 minutes of walking in just because on the phone I'm 
walking. So I want you to do that even if you're just walking around your house and uh, exercise is just really important. And then certain foods like beets, oregano, rosemary, cayenne pepper, all have been shown to increase blood flow to the brain. And one of my favorite supplements to increase blood flow is ginkgo. In our um, Brain and Memory Power Boost, which I took this morning, ginkgo is one of the main ingredients. The R in Bright Minds is for retirement and aging. When you stop learning, your brain starts dying. And so new learning is really important during this time. I is for inflammation. That's actually what causes a lot of the damage from the virus. And you know you have inflammation if you have pain, if you have redness in your face, something we call rosacea. Um, if you're not eating fish or taking fish oil, low levels of omega-3 fatty acids increase inflammation if your gut is not healthy. And did you know 50% of people who have the virus will have some form of diarrhea? So if you have diarrhea, it's important to protect yourself. Um, probiotics can actually be helpful for your immune system. Genetics, what are you vulnerable to? Um, and genes are not a death sentence, they're a wake up call. You know, I have heart disease and obesity in my family. I don't have heart disease and I'm not obese. Why? Because I know I'm at risk and I take steps to prevent them. Um, there's a question about can brain spect imaging be done in Europe? Yes, but I don't know anywhere in Europe that really does it for mental health reasons. There's actually studies from Turkey and studies from Greece on spect um, there's also a study from Germany. Um, I just don't know they're doing it like we do because, you know, in psychiatry, how the heck do you know unless you look? The H in Bright Minds is for head trauma, a major cause of psychiatric problems that no one knows about because most people aren't actually looking at the brain. Do not let children hit soccer balls with their head. That is just not smart. Um, protect your head, especially if you're elderly, it's okay to hold the handrail when you're going down the stairs. This is so important. My mom, just cause she was wearing these stupid shoes when she got out of a car back in November, the, her heel, I, mean, I don't know why people wear high heels anyways, I'm telling you, I just don't get it. Um, but got on a grate and it caused her to trip and she fell and broke her hip at 88. That's a bad thing. Now she's on the mend and, you know, uh, I'm not ready to lose her. Um, but falls are a major cause of cognitive impairment with age. Be careful. The T is toxins. We could just go on and on about. There's so many. If you're at home, I know the bars are closed. I'm sort of happy about that. But if you're drinking a lot at home, that's gonna lower blood flow to your brain. It's gonna damage your immune system, not good for you. You know, if you have one or two glasses a week, not a big deal. But if you're using it to manage stress, that is going to be toxic to your immune system. So I just want you to think about this. Tana and she and I are gonna be on later today about three o'clock, we're gonna talk about parenting during a pandemic but my wife Tana is a nurse. And why do nurses put alcohol on your skin uh, before they give you a shot? It disinfects your skin, it kills the bugs. Well, how many bugs do you have in your gut? A hundred trillion? So do you really want, and, and isn't this interesting? I find this so interesting. The alcohol industry is helping us nationally because they're making hand sanitizer. So it doesn't make my point any clearer that alcohol, good to get the germs off, probably don't wanna be damaging the bugs in your gut by drinking a lot. I hope 
that makes sense. And, and I'm a little worried, all the disinfectants, you want to try, you know, work with companies. One of my favorite is Earth, <coughs> excuse me, is Earth friendly products because they make healthier forms of soap and dishwasher and detergent and so on. I get no money from them. Uh, I just love them. They make the Ecos brand in your store um, because you have to be careful for things like phthalates and fragrance and parabens and all of the toxic substances they put in the things that we're using to disinfect the world. Um, the M in Bright Minds um, stands for mental health issues and they're rampant during this time of pandemic. People are really anxious and I talk about how mental hygiene is just as important as washing your hands. Um, disinfecting your thoughts, we call it killing the ants, the automatic negative thoughts that steal your happiness. We're gonna do much more on that. In fact, I have a children's book that I'm gonna read to you, so we'll try to give you notice about that. But I'm gonna see if I can get my niece, uh, Amelie, to read it with me. Uh, my book is called Captain Snout and the Superpower Question, so good for kids to teach them not to believe every stupid thing they think. So really important. Um, the second I, well, this is the critical one, it's immunity and infection. So we're already talking about how COVID-19 can impact the brain. And that's why you wanna strengthen your immune system. One of my friends has COVID-19. She's uh, stuck in a foreign country. And what I did is I told her to rent as many comedies as she could find. When I was a young medical student, uh, a book by Norman Cousins came out called The Anatomy of an Illness. And Norman Cousins had an autoimmune disorder called ankylosing spondylitis. All the medications didn't work. He was basically deteriorating at a rapid rate. And one of the things he did, because traditional medicine wasn't working, is he locked himself into uh, his room with 500 hours of comedies, like Laurel and Hardy and Charlie Chaplin, and this was back in 1979. And at the end of those 500 hours, his symptoms were dramatically reduced because when you have a good thought, when you have a happy thought, when you have a hopeful thought, when you're laughing, that actually strengthens your immune system. When you're sad, when you're angry, when you're watching, I'm sorry, but you know, you just turn on CNN or Fox right now, they have the number of people dead worldwide, the number of people who died in the last 24 hours, and they just feed you nonstop negativity and even though the numbers don't change that much, they're keeping you afraid. Why? Because they want your eyes. Because if your eyes are on that television set, then your their advertisers are gonna be happy with them and they're going to make more money. You need to manage the news or it will scare you so that you're just constantly freaked out. That is not good for your immune system. Also good for your immune system, onions, garlic, mushrooms, vitamin D, and make sure you sleep. Sleep hygiene now more than ever. And in fact, the S in Bright Minds, we'll get to it in a minute, is sleep. Neurohormones is the N. Hormones are like miracle grow for your brain. Um, so important to get your hormones tested and optimized. D is diabetes. Now that you're stuck at home, now is the time to get serious about being healthy. If you're just going after the sugar to manage your anxiety, um, we know diabetics are actually at one of the highest risks of being damaged from this virus. 
Now is the time to exercise, start counting your calories, only love food that loves you back. This is really important. You can get well during a pandemic. And people go, oh, but I can't get healthy food. I always want you to think about this. Compared to what? Are you making good choices? So you could get the ice cream or you could get the yogurt. Now, secret on yogurt, I'm like not a big fan of dairy just because of the hormones and antibiotics, but ice cream versus yogurt, get plain yogurt. What I do when I have yogurt, get plain yogurt, frozen blueberries, um, and then put a little bit of erythritol in it, mix it up, significantly fewer calories, good for me, and I love it. Only love food that loves you back. And then the S is for sleep. You need to make it a priority. So if you wanna keep your brain healthy, COVID-19, now we know it can affect our nervous system, but you can affect your nervous system as well. Pay attention, do what the authorities tell you, stay at home, you isolate yourself, but you don't have to totally isolate yourself. Connect with your um, family, connect with your friends. And then three o'clock Pacific time today, Tana and I are gonna go through parenting during a pandemic. I care about you. Oh, I'm gonna be here for you as Tana is during this very difficult time. Amen Clinics is open. Um, you know, our clinics are open. Almost all of our doctors are working virtually. We can still do evaluations uh, and treat you uh, now that they've relaxed some of the telehealth. Uh, I'm, almost all of my patients, I'm talking to them on Skype or on video conferencing or on the phone. We are there uh, and we will be there for you as uh, you need us. So have a great day. Take care of your brain.